Hey there, Gerblitz. This is the Gerbil, and welcome back. This is the uh, April 7th GAC, and you know what? It's the first time we have 3v3 fleets in Kyber, and we're going to get to that just as soon as we clear this front row. I'm a little somber today. Don't really want to go into it, but things are a little difficult at the moment. But... Thankfully, we got Star Wars Galaxy Heroes here to make everything right, right? Right. Right. Yeah, so my opponent here, Cerberus, I lose this GAC by 18 points. Just 18 points. It's my bad. It's totally my bad. So he full clears everything but ships, as do I, as is the way. This is the way. But if you've been watching my recent videos, you know it's not soon to be the way if you subscribe to my level of thinking. See, I believe, if you haven't seen yet, we're going to get a new Rebel capital ship and we're going to get a Sith capital ship very soon. I believe we're going to get Mara Jade's Z95 as an Empire ship. We're going to get Kylo's, I think it's called the, the, the Moldy Crow as another Rebel ship. I think we're also going to get Talon's dragon ship as the Sith capital ship, not Nihilus. Nihilus flew on the dragon ship too, as I understand. I'm not a lore expert, but that's what I understand. So I think we're going to get several more ships inbound. I also think with Andor, the new show coming up very soon, we may get some more Rogue One action. I mean, we just got a, a Jenner's a Omicron, which could be a clue, may not be a clue, but the Rogue One characters in this game are not that good. Actually, Jin is a lot better, I think, than most people realize, but that's a long story. I'm not going into it today, and she's super squishy is the problem. Just keeping her alive is the problem, but her kit is actually quite good. But nonetheless, I digress, we're, we're going to get more ships, and I don't think 3v3 will be a problem for much longer, but 3v3 and a couple bad decisions and a little bit of unfortunate RNG maybe is how I lose this one. So I woke up first thing in the morning and did my GAC. I normally wait and think about it and let, let it soak in a little bit, but like... 55 banners. Man, that's not so good. Change of topics real quick. Somebody said, try Jawas with Padme lead. I'm like, what? See, Padme, she's a lot beefier than the Jawas. And she gives all allies 50% health. I'm like, huh. You may be onto something. But I have a really rubbish Padme team on defense. All right, here we go. Double Omicron Akbar. So I showcased this one on my channel yesterday, so I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but here's what I've learned from this. I've learned that Kylo Ren there, masked Kylo, gains 50% stacking defense until he takes a turn every time he's hit. So that's one reason we do so little damage here. I learned that when First Order has advantage, they can't be critical hit, which is another reason we do so little damage here. But the takeaways from this squad is that it's a heavy investment. You get to play your OG characters, but they're likely not going to beat any top tier teams, likely. But they are fun to play. And I think that it's going to be a consistent 65 banner win. And I think that's good. Is it worth double Omicron and all the relic materials? No, I don't think so. Especially since none of these people except for Apgar have a fleet, and fleets are becoming much, much more important. So, I can't actually recommend anybody pursue this lineup, unless you just really want to play your Rebels, or you just enjoy playing Rebels. But I think it's, a, I think it's almost a consistent 65 banner win going forward, because of Leia's protection recovery, and Chirrut's health recovery. I mean, these two are going to be incredibly viable here. It might be a good defensive team. 
But for right now, I'm going to keep playing with him on offense, and I'm going to just ratchet up the difficulty level of my opponents to see what we can beat. So this time it was Phasma First Order, which is, I, I know, that's, a, that's an easy win. But I'm thinking that we might go against something a little bit heavier next time. I'm, I'm wondering about a Geo squad. I don't, I don't think we can get past Geos. I mean, we got a stun. We've got some healing abilities. We've got a lot of turn meter advantage. Geos don't have a lot of armor, so maybe Leah can can do the damage. Leah, Leah, sorry. Maybe Leah can do the damage to keep us alive. But I. Oh, I just don't know. We'll see. Depends what my opponents put down. But yeah, Cerberus here. Four GLs, well over a million GP ahead of me. And I lose by 18 points. <sighs> That's a good win. That was a fun win. And here's here's a part where I start to screw up. So, Sith, Sith Eternal Emperor. My first one. My only one. There's only one. It's kind of weird. Anyway, so homeboy, all Sith here. I don't have his ultimate. I only have two Zetas. I have no idea what he's doing. I don't understand his kit. I've read it way too many times. And I feel like I'm brain damaged because his kit just doesn't make sense to me. I know we go with a link and a link. And I know that eventually we sap away those people's protection and we add it to Sith. It seems to me, as a GAC team, he's easy to beat on defense. And on offense, you're going to lose banners because his allies are just going to die. Like, just survive long enough to do the ultimate, which of course I don't have yet. I think that really seems to be what people tell me. So, I think my mistake here was that I went in with a squad of five, whereas... With Mon Moth, I probably should have just gone in with a squad of two or three, maybe? I'm not so sure. I mean, like I said, I only have two Zetas. I know this will change as I get Relic 7, six Zetas, and the ultimate. So right now, he's he's just meh. He's a, he's a glorified like, legend character but not a galactic legend yet i don't know how to say that so we'll get there we'll get there so the big lesson that i want to try to take away from this gac though is actually up in the ships when we get to the ships which is after this battle my opponent set down three fleets and I saw a finalizer fleet with a power of three, 348,000 power. And I thought, oh, that's going to be easy. We'll save that for last. What I did not notice, or actually I saw, but what I did not contemplate enough to understand was that he's only running two reinforcements, which is what I've been talking about. Five is the new seven. And I fell victim to that because 348 power when you are lacking two reinforcements is not bad. I mean, if the reinforcements are each 50k, then that's actually a 450,000 power team, not 350. So I debuted my finalizer, which is only four stars, I think, and some crappy pilots behind it and got obliterated. And that was my bad. See, right here, I'd taken three against his negotiator. I should have left out... Uh, the Phoenix ship. I should have just gone with a team of five. My home one is good enough. It's going to beat Negotiator, especially this opening lineup with with two tanks. I mean, this, this is not going to hold. Not against Rebels. Not against a good Rebel team. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that should have been a dead Y-Ring right there. There we go. Okay, so bye-bye Y-Ring. And Cerberus, my opponent, did not beat my Executor, as expected. He has a three-star Executor. My fleet is pretty much maxed out. So Executor, I think, is definitely going to be landing on defense more again. Right? When it came out, it hit defense. Nobody could beat it. Then as everybody got their Executors, mirror matches, you have, I'd say, an 85% chance of win or higher. So people stop putting it on defense if their opponent has an Executor. 
finalizer has a better chance of beating it now with echelon so people started putting it more on offense but now with three fleets on defense i think we're going to see executor on there non-stop yeah see i didn't need my fourth or fifth reinforcement right there second or third reinforcement i only needed four ships see five is the new seven all right so i'm down two potential ships already then my opponent here, I don't know what's going on, but he's got Endurance with a full Rebel fleet, and this is where I should have sent my crappy Finalizer. Not, not Chimera with all those reinforcements. I mean, a crappy Finalizer with that Thai Bomber right there probably would have beat this fleet. So, big screw up on my part. I mean, Wedge, I love Wedge actually, but only as a late reinforcement to stop uh, like to put the buff immunity on somebody as a starting lineup wedge really no just like no don't do that that no so yeah finalizer would have beat this with just tie bomber pretty much tie bomber and and kylo ren and whatever else unmasked kylo ren unmasked and whatever else but so i've already thrown away two possible reinforcements on my home one fleet i've thrown away um a, a bad capital well i used the wrong capital ship here by way overdoing this see look at that i and, and only one reinforcement was used here it didn't use my second or third again so now i'm down four ships that i can't use and i'm left to the bottom of the pool because like many people i've never really pushed more than five fleets we haven't had a need for it so right here i get my butt royally spanked because of a miscalculation and not following my own recent mantra that five is the new seven. Don't go in here, if, unless you have all your fleets maxed out. Don't fill out your rosters is my, is my recommendation. Don't go down to all four reinforcements. Probably not on defense, probably not on offense. And I'm not gonna make that, I hope not to make this mistake again because this mistake cost me this round. I only needed 18 banners, I lose by 18 banners. Ah, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Like I said, I'm feeling kind of somber today. Don't want to say much. Um, if you want to see an interesting, kind of scary matchup, uh, second battle from the end near the end of this video is Darth Vader and Palpatine under Palpatine lead, both Relic 7, well modded against a 73 power, 73,000 power Iden team with the Omicron. And it is messy. Like, like, it's messy. Like, I really was worried about losing. I went in with just the two, a duo. And I was like, okay, these two guys are going to destroy this 73,000 power three-star item. No, yeah, they did. But it was messy. And again, I lost more banners. So, I think I lost more banners. I don't remember what the score was. But, ugh. That's hard to see right there, losing. And see, now I got nothing left. Nothing left. Four more ships. Four more ships. Had I not, had I used my reinforcements better? Anyway, I don't, know about you, I don't know about you all, but I am farming the crap out of ships right now. Like, every day I'm hitting the refresh, the 25 and 50 crystal refresh, on five different ships. Um, just because, well, it's evident that we need more ships. And I don't mind it, actually. I enjoy ships. I think ships are fun. Um, I like ships in some cases more than I like the characters, actually. But it just depends. It totally depends. But anyway, anyway. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Um, yeah. Like I said, feeling a bit down. Catch you all later. See ya. Bye-bye.